Hello everybody and welcome back to Wildflowers where today I think I want to be looking at um, well I'll grab the rest of the shells and things for my side quests but I really really want to be looking at if possible I don't want to do the shed yet I want to get towards the ranch as much as I can so that's going to involve a lot of wood chopping a lot of grabbing of iron and a lot of money so I'm going to start working, I would say, on probably the wood first. In fact, what day is it Tuesday? Yeah, I'll work on the wood first. So let's start off by watering my crops. So I don't really want to change things to summer until I'm finished doing spring crops. Um, top up this watering can. Oh, I really wanted to get the watering can sorted out as well, didn't I? So do I do that or do I keep my iron? What other things? What? Have, how much have I got at the moment? So I've got 15 iron ore and 8 copper ore at the moment. The copper ore, I don't know what I need that for at the moment. So I could maybe sell that for a little bit of profit. Because I can always get more, can't I? Seems like the mine fills back up every day, so... Because what I'm trying to do is kind of semi-grab uh, iron, but also semi-upgrade um, every... <laughs> semi-grab iron, but also semi-make progress in the mines. So... So yeah, kind of... There we go, up to the mines. Yeah, so I kind of want to be um, still in the copper layers like I could get more iron if I was in the layers where it was only iron but I think I slightly prefer to be progressing down towards the silver layers so like I say because I now got a copper axe and a copper pickaxe I don't have anything else at the moment unless the watering can has a copper variant that shows up but it doesn't look like it does because all of the uh, the pickaxe and the axes all um, Natalia has all of those and they all show as being as being upgradable whereas the watering can only shows as having the iron upgrade so I'm thinking that that's the only one it has I really do need to go and catch a squid don't I so once I've got enough iron ore I'll take it over to Nat Natalia and we'll get that all uh, made into ingots and I will decide whether I want a better watering can or not. I think I could probably get away with doing without that for now. Until I'm a bit richer. We have a lot of shiitake mushrooms in here today. Wonderful. But we're on level 8. And I'm, what I'm wanting, ideally, is to be able to... And did I bring any food in? I've got my slap chips and my restorative tea. So a little bit of food, yes. We do have some. But the key is not forthcoming at the moment. Come on, Tara, we got to find this key. Hey, this looks like a key to the next level. Well done. Key to the next level. Perfect. Yay, finish level eight then. Nice. Nice job. So, um, I could get a little bit of sand, or I could get more... Let me just see how much... 28 iron ore? Well, that's okay then, isn't it? So, I've got enough to make 14. But what I ideally want is to get to 40 pieces of iron... Oh, yes. Wow, look at this. This, my friendos. It's amethyst? Wow, I could sell that to Francis. So are these all gems? It's level nine full of gems. Let's see, let's see what it's full of. You can get amethyst, probably iron, copper, amethyst, and well, I'm gonna just um, drink my restorative tea, I think, and see if I can get some more. 
I expect these sell for a good amount, so... Are those coal? Okay, coal is the thing I get down here, apparently, then. Um, something that it doesn't tell me that I get, apparently. Mm, getting loads of coal. Copper. Copper. I've got a feeling that there'll be silver down here, but there might not be. Okay, so we've got iron and copper, so I'm thinking no silver yet then. And then probably some shiitake mushrooms again. Really? That was just stone? Ah, oh, sucks. There are more of these though, so I'm gonna try my luck, see if I can get a gem out of them. I'm all out of strength. Oh, okay, Tara, we'll come back. Or buy some food, or try again tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. I'm not gonna eat my chips for for this. So, I've used all of my restorative tea. We found an amethyst. I can sell that to Francis. It'll be wonderful times. But I am totally out of energy today. But that was good. Uh, let's go and find Natalia before she. Before she shuts up shop for the day, I'll come back and get the soil in a minute. Oh, I might just not catch her. I took too long. No. Oh, she's still there. Okay, maybe she'll still speak to me. Okay, she will. Cool. So, I want to make um, as many iron ingots as I can. Which is 10. 14. And then I want to make as many copper ingots as I can, which is six. And then I want to sell those back to you for 150. So I made slightly more than I, it cost me to make all of the iron, which is wonderful. Perfect. And we can have a chat as Angus well. Angus makes the best bread. Does Even he? if he gives me a hard time for always leaving the first slice in front of the door of my house. What? Is that a superstition? And why do you do that? Oh, it's just an old superstition my dad taught me. It's supposed to appease the house elves. Of course, I, I don't believe in any of that. <laughs> Not really. Apparently in Welsh culture, you're supposed to, uh, uh, Avak told me this, you're supposed to leave, I think it's some kind of like crack in the window or crack in the door or something, um, to allow the Tullworth Teg to go through the house, <laughs> which is some kind of elf, I think. Messenger Cameron says that the first step in climbing the mountain of consciousness is leaving behind old beliefs that no longer serve you. I mean, that does make sense. Some of the stuff he says makes sense, which actually makes it more terrifying in a way. All right, Natalia. Natalia doesn't really need... Uh... Oh, I just caught her before she closed as well. Just. Right, so. Uh, what else am I wanting to do today? I might go and have a look at what is required for the flame uh, potion so that I know at least what that is. We are looking for Violet, though, who happens to be right here, so that's wonderful. I have a cauliflower for you. I'm trying to get Sebastian to eat more vegetables. Is anyone growing I cauliflower? I have been slammed with orders lately, so I super appreciate this. I'm very glad. I wonder if Violet's one of the coven. She might be, actually. She might even be the like the apprentice or something. No, not the apprentice. The uh, acolyte, I think it is. Let's Thanks see what she knows about honey. Out with the thistles. No problem. Have you planted the tulip seeds I gave you? If you grow flowers in your garden beds, you can attract bees. Oh. First, you need to build a beehive for them. Here are some instructions. If you keep the bees happy. They'll make honey and beeswax. The more flowers, the faster the bees can produce honey. So plant plenty. Oh, nice. Uh, do I really want to keep bees, though? Won't they sting? 
Bees can feel your intentions. You just have to come at them with the right energy. Come back when you have honey to sell and I'll buy some from you. Nice. Set up a beehive in your field so you can make honey. Wow. I can make honey now. Beehive can now be constructed in your garden. What? Thank you, Violet. That's wonderful. And I've got money as well now. Perfect. Let's go and have a chat to the to the kids, the kiddos. Emmy, hello. Juliet's like always staring at Sebastian. <sighs> then the you little looks at her, gossip. She looks away. Little gossip. Absolute gossip. I'm gonna chat to Juliet as well. So this thing about Sebastian, um, Sebastian I hear. Sebastian said you helped his sister out. That was cool of you. She pretty much takes care of him by herself. Juliet is about half a heart now, which is absolutely fine by me because she only has one heart to to get through, so that's fine. I like to try and be friends with most people I if I can. I asked if I should help her out in the store, and she got all offended. The store is like her thing, I guess. Plus, she said I had to focus on school so I could get into a good college. I think she just doesn't want you doing more more work than you have to. Well, pro skateboarders Sebastian. don't need college degrees. Oh, Sebastian. You want a backup for that. <laughs> it's like saying you want to be a YouTuber. Okay. Nine till three. Spring, fall, and winter. So they're off in the summer. Ah, interesting. All summer. We used to have like some school in summer. We'd have a big, big amount of time off as well. All right, I want to go back to the farm and have a look at how to make a beehive and have a look at how to make my potion so that I'm well prepared by the morning as to what I need to do. But I, I think it's going to take me about three or four days to get everything that I need together for... Oh, I should check the, the notice board. You get some decent money off that, actually. Let's see. Five worms for Bruno. Okay. I'm just going to buy some more back off you as well. And it doesn't really give you a time limit for herrings. But I don't really want to do stuff for Otto. Powder calcium I still don't know how to make. So I'll just, for now, I'll just take the things I can. Uh, it looks like they stay on there for a little while. I'm figuring that powder calcium is probably something like grinding up seashells in my in my tool shed. Not sure though. Right, let's go and have a look at how to make a beehive. I'm very interested in this. I do have a little bit of space still. I could do with some more space. But I do have some. My little patch is very small at the moment. So to make a beehive, I just need some wood. Oh, and I can stick them along the edge. Nice. What I'm kind of thinking is... I want to move things around a little bit. So that's fine there. delete it thank you just want to be sort of like a little bit more in fact let's uh, move them all the way to the edge as well so then we're a little bit more um yeah I'm gonna make beehives there I can have two more planter beds there. That's fine. And another one. 
Oh, I don't have enough wood. Okay, we'll get a load of wood in the morning. That's going to be my, my thing probably for the next few days, actually. So I've got another bed there. I could put another one in and then we can have lot, lots of beehives. I am at the moment planting flowers. Uh, I've got snowdrops and uh, tulips growing. I don't know how close they have to be to the beehive for that. I guess I'll see. <laughs> Uh, they probably have to be flowering as well. Alright then, so the next thing I want to do is to pop down into the basement and have a look at what this summer brew requires. So I'm going to need powdered calcium and essence of copper. So it's used, it's uh, made in the distillery and made in a mortar and pestle. Okay, distillery and a mortar and pestle. How are we going to make those? Mortar and pestle is certainly not made here, but a distillery probably is. But I don't even have that open yet. So yeah, I, this is definitely blocking me from bringing in summer quite yet. But that is fine because I have things I'm, that I want to do other than that. Um, the other thing I could do is go down to the beach, but I actually just think I'm going to go, going to, go to bed because by the time I come to the beach and come back, it's going is to be it too late. Is it time for bed? It definitely is, Tara, yes. Oh. That was a good day. We got lots of iron. I'm very happy about that. And we've got our beehive. Oh, oh the bees are out. Look. Honeybee, can we chat for a moment before you go out for the day? Yeah. Sure, Grandma. I want you to know I've left you the farm in my will. I already spoke to Arthur about it, and he understands. Farm life was never for him. I don't want you to feel obliged if you'd rather return to your old life in the city. But tell me, do you want to stay on after I'm gone? I'm going to say, of course, like, by it doesn't help her to pretend that she's not dying because she knows she is. Of course. Of course I want to stay, Grandma. Oh, that's wonderful. I knew you would love it here. I'm glad that's settled then. I'll have Otto finish the paperwork. Morning. Brought you some groceries. Morning, Lena. Oh, let me get you some money. Oh, don't you dare. It's the least Parker and I could do. <laughs> Thank you, Lena, dear. You will look after Tara for me, won't you? I've done what I can to get her ready to take my place here, but she'll need a guiding hand. <laughs> Poor Grandma. I will. Well, I better let you rest. Give my love to Marcus when you see him. What have you got to say Honey to me today? Bee, I'm so glad you came here. Even if your circumstances weren't the best. What with you... Uh... <laughs> Losing my fiancé and my job in the same week? Yeah... But I... I tried to make the best of it. We had dozens of these miniature champagne bottle wedding favors, and it was too late to take back the deposit on the cake. So I had all of my girlfriends over for a champagne and cake unengagement party. <laughs> I even wore my dress. Now that's the right spirit. I wish I'd been there. I bet it was a ball. <laughs> well, uh... I may have gone to the bathroom to cry once or twice, but yeah, it was great. Oh, that's adorable. That's so what you should do. So the bees are about. But they are not yet making me any honey by the looks of it. So I may need to move the beehive closer. Or the flowers might need to be in bloom. So I can collect my green beans. And 
and my wheat, which means I can take that down to Kim. Not today, Satan. <laughs> so we're going to see them in a second. Uh, my soil is still working. Okay. Great stuff. Great stuff. How about the potatoes? The potatoes just need a bit of water. I expect the carrots and the and the flowers will as well. Oh, of course, my washing can isn't full. I will get on that definitely, but uh, I want to save up for the barn more than I want the watering can. So it's not even the barn, is it? That I'm saving up for. It's just to get the ranch fixed before I can even start on fixing the barn. Nightmare. Okay, good stuff. Right, so it looks like we can go and hand the wheat in. Um, we're not ready for the honey. The more flowers, the faster you get honey. The pierogi will probably be ready tomorrow, so I need some potatoes for that. I have Bruno's worms, but I need some shells. And then we can do a big old hand in of everything. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll head down to the beach. I'll grab the other two shells and then we'll just go and see everybody and hand everything in. And then I need to work on how to get a mortar and pestle. That's probably something that I can make in my in my basement, so I'll go and have a look at that uh, later today as well. Right, what have we got on the beach? We've got any shells, any bananas, anything I can pick up at all? There's some bananas. There's a shell, one shell. I need two though. Ah, oh, man. No shells for me. Now it's Wednesday, so Shelby should be in the woods this afternoon. So I could head to the woods and do myself a little bit of uh, collecting. Uh, oh, all right, Kim is here. So you're the first person I need to see. I have the wheat you wanted. Better get that meatless grinder going. Or, uh... Wh whatever you use to make Satan. Oh, yes. Give me a day to make it, then drop by my store for some fresh Satan. And in the meantime, fair wages for fair work. Nice. 600? Oh, that's great. That definitely helps. I need a thousand for the, for the uh, ranch. So being up to 852 means I'm not too far away. Fantastic. Let's see if I can sell anything to uh, Lena hey, as Lena. well. Hey, Lena. Well, I have to be. Since my dad retired a few years ago, it's just me running this place. Parker helps when he can, but he has his workshop. Sometimes I pay Sebastian to help me restock the shelves if he wants new grip tape for his skateboard. But otherwise, it's all me. Right, let's see what you got. So, I can sell polyflowers. Uh, I would like to keep a few though, so how about we sell two carrots, four cauliflowers, so I can just keep a couple. I don't want to sell my potato, I need that for a quest. Um, eggs and milk I don't, I can't replenish at the moment, so it's better if I try and keep those. Two green beans. Then I'm going to need a few more bits. Um, so, I want uh, green bean seeds, maybe? Or do I need to run things down so I can change things to summer? Oh, it's going to be a while before I can change things to summer, so I think... Why don't we do a couple of potatoes and a couple of green beans? Nothing too long running. Okay. So we're on 976. Bruno, we've got your worms. 
I didn't manage to get quite enough shells together for, I think it's for uh, Sophia. You're real sweet, helping out a fisherman past his prime. So let's see, how much do worms go for? Worms only go for four, so we made a profit uh, of nothing, actually. We didn't make any profit on that at all. <laughs> oh, well. I'm very close to being acquaintance with Bruno, so I'm just going to have a chat as well. I don't know what to make of that new messenger fella. My papa dragged me to the preacher once or twice when he wanted to do penance for his sins. <laughs> That I understood. Cameron just goes on about climbing some mountain. Makes me tired just to listen to it. I don't know what the the deal is with it because if it genuinely is just like self improvement, and it's just a way to think about how to improve yourself, that's fine. But if he's trying to like con money or I don't know, get control over people or any other kind of nefarious thing. I really don't know what his motive is and it makes me really suspicious. Okay, so I think we're gonna head out to the woodlands now. And I'm gonna pick up any bits and bobs I can see around there and sell any scavenger balls that I get. I'm hoping anyway that I'm right that uh, Shelby will be around today. Ooh, there's a mushroom there I almost missed. And I can sell these for enough to just get that thousand together for for the ranch. I'm really desperate to get the ranch going. Oh no, I'm wrong. Shelby's not here. Was it Tuesday and Wednesday that Shelby was at the beach then? Must be. So let me grab the rest of the scavenger balls. But I, yeah, I wouldn't have seen him on the way down. Oh, I might not even find him, by the way. Oh, no. He'll definitely be at the beach, but it's going to take me more than two hours probably to run all the way over there. So if you get it wrong about where he is, then <laughs> you're not going to find him. I swear he teleports. I'm trying to be quick, but it's just not working, is it? So it's still 20 past 3. We're still in the afternoon sort of period. I think he stays places till 4. You never know. I might find my shell. On weekday afternoons, he's supposed to be either at the beach or at his house. Oh no, it's gone past 4. He's probably just teleported away. Oh no, there he is. Okay, cool. Hey, Shelby. Have you got your shop open still? Thank you, dude. Right, okay, so. I've got ten of these little mushrooms. Oh no, I don't want to buy one. I want to sell one. Uh, I don't want to sell my she seashells, thistles, mandrakes, really. I could sell some toadstools. Thanks, Shelby. So that's enough now. So I just need to now get the wood, I think. So I've got the, the stone. I've got the iron. I've got the money. I just need 80 wood now. That might take all of my stamina for today and tomorrow. Are there any other things to do? We're waiting for the honeybees, we're waiting for the potatoes. Um, I'm not doing the shed yet. I'll probably do the shed after the ranch. Unless more things come up that need wood. I'm getting very close to the sort of level of the mines where silver will become a thing. 
I'm also wanting to get a new vegetable patch at some point, so um, I'll expand my garden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to need to cut down about eight of these trees. And then at some point I'm going to need to work out how to make a mortar and pestle and also I'm going to need to work out how to do the distillery. I'm assuming because I've got something that's asking for like ground up calcium that I'm probably already able to make somehow. I'm already able to make it. Um, but I haven't gone down to the basement to look. I'm all be. out of strength. Okay, so how much did we manage to get, Sara? We managed to get 30. So maybe with a little bit of uh, baking, we might be able to finish that off tomorrow, but it might co go into the next day. We'll have to see. All right, then. Uh, actually, basement. Mortar and pestle. Let's see if we can make it. So that'll be on my little workbench here. Yeah, I can. Okay. And I can make a distillery. Cool. Cool, cool. What are they going to take? One piece of copper. Okay, I can go and get that. And I can already make the mortar and pestle. Ah, perfect. Go stick that next to my writing desk. Can I turn it around at all? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. A little bit of rotation going on there. Yeah, I'll pop it there for now. We can always move it around later, which is really cool. Distillery is going to take a bit more doing, but um, I don't want to turn it to summer yet. So I, I want to do other things first. So I can pop into the mines and get enough for that. So pow powdered calcium uh, is just going to require some seashells. So I just need to be going and grabbing seashells as much as I can. I can also make my wheat into flour. And I can make some bone meal. When am I going to be getting bones? I thought this was a nice, gentle game. Um, okay then. I want to see if there's anything I can cook as well. Probably not would be the answer to that. I apparently can actually make cauliflower soup. Only one, though. I probably can also make mushroom soup, but I don't have the recipe for it yet. Moroccan carrots. Oh, I need chilli for that. Mm, interesting. I do want to go down to Ben's as well, and like once I've got a bit more money and make, start making like apple trees and things like that, getting more fruit trees into my place. Uh, does... Did I say Ben? Kai. Uh, ben is the Coral Island Kai. <laughs> so that would be why I'm using that name. In my mind, they are the same person. They have exactly the same personality, basically. Except that Ben, do ben doesn't surf. Ben more like roams. <laughs> but I've got some stuff for restorative tea, which is always quite nice. Restorative tea is very good, so restorative tea will get me a, probably another tree or two. Which is rather wonderful. I also have my miracle grow. Ah. Not too worried about it at the moment though. So yeah, now I can maybe chop another tree down. But I've got time. So I did use a little bit of uh, a little bit of wood up, making a mortar and pestle, but that doesn't mean that I can now help a mirror with things, which is quite nice.
How much wood do I have now? 40 almost. But I don't have any uh, stamina left now. I think I'm going to have one more restorative tea. And I will use it to chop down this tree over here. And you can see I'm trying basically to keep this area clear so that I can make another veggie patch once I have enough money and and stuff to do that. I imagine this whole farm will eventually be covered in veggies. Oh, hang on. What? Take the stuff to Parker? I don't have enough stuff for, for that. Maybe for the shed. Yeah, I've got enough for the shed. But not quite enough. Uh, I only need another 20 odd for the... Okay, cool. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday is a, a day when a lot of things are shut. So I'm hoping Parker's isn't shut tomorrow. Is I'm just it time kinda... for bed? I'm just going to basically go to bed, get up, cut down a couple of trees. And then get going to Parker's. Morning, Grandma. Morning. Brought you some firewood, Hazel. Everyone's coming in. This was exactly like when I was with my grandfather. Um, about two months before he passed on. Every day there was someone in, whether it was, sometimes it was just carers and things, but um, it was also like, he'd have, he had like a reverend friend that came around. He had like friends from, like, he used to do like Rotary Club and things like that. He had friends from that. He had, just everyone was coming around all the time. It was really nice. And then when he went into hospice, um, there was like a, a lot of people coming in there as well. No, actually, it wasn't hospice for him. It, that was my grandmother. He he was in hospital. He got out. He got out of hospital. <laughs> I think he was being stubborn. Got out of hospital one day before he passed away. He got put into a care home. He got to stay there for one day. Anyway, sad times. But uh, it, uh, sorry, this game brings up a lot of stuff. <laughs> it really does. But anyway, lots of people came to visit him. That's the main thing. And Thomas is our visitor this morning. How kind of you, Thomas. I'll just, um, go somewhere else. Lena told me you've been a bit under the weather. Hmm. I have. But Tara's been doing a pretty good job taking care of the farm, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Hazel, I just wanted to say thank you. After my dad passed, you and Robert were there for us. I have never forgotten it. Oh, it was the least we could do. Most things I picked up watching your dad in his garden. <laughs> he was right about most things when it came to farming. Hard as it was for me to admit. He Experience. was just so stern and impossible to please. Mm. Well... I'll be on my way. You can tell that Tara is American because if Tara was... Oh, he bought wood. Fantastic. I kind of need that. Um, as much as Tara is uh, is American, because if she was British, she'd be like, I'm just going to go put the kettle on. Because that is your... If you are British, that is your blanket excuse for leaving a room. Oh, I'm just going to put the kettle on. <laughs> I don't want some tea. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at the beehive, see how it's doing. Uh, the flowers are looking more done. And it looks like the honey has started to produce. So that is wonderful. I'll probably leave the flowers there to get the honey to, to work. And I'll do all my other chores around it. And it'll, it'll slowly get there. Eventually, I w I'm probably going to want to have a whole flower garden and I'll have a line of beehives with a, maybe a line of flowers like behind them or something or in front of them. 
I don't know how close they have to be. It seems to be working fine, though. The potatoes are ready, so I can give those to Angus today as well. The carrots are also ready. The tulips are also ready, but... I could plant more tulips, actually. I'll plant the potatoes and green beans, and then I'll put tulips in the rest. Over the fence we go, apparently. Uh, we've green beans in there. I'll do potatoes in there. I'll do some more flowers, some tulip bulbs in there. So I'll leave the tulip bulbs for a day or two uh, once they're ripened, just to let them, see if it helps with the honey at all. This watering can is not going to do for much longer, I don't think. Uh, I would like to have that sorted before I move on to summer. I'd like to have the... the I've got a, 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 like a bit of a shopping list of things that I want done. I want the ranch done. I want the shed upgraded. I want to have a few of the, the machines and things in the shed. Um, and I probably want another veggie patch if I can. So the, the, those are all the things that I can get from... I want to keep this area clear, so I'm going to cut the wood out of that. 64, 65. Right, so I need to cut down like two trees, I would say. Again, so I'm going to try and clear the patch in front of my house. Apart from the rock. I don't think I need to do the rock at the moment. Uh, if I do, though, I'll get a recipe out of it, probably. So that would be quite nice. Let's chop this one down. Okay, 80 wood is gotten. So I can go over to Parker now and say that I've done all of the stuff I need to. For the ranch, which was the big thing. That was the big thing of today's episode. I really wanted to get that done. I said it would take me three days, and I think it has taken three days. I think so. So, hoping that Parker's is open today. Is it open? Yes. Yes. The ranch build. Should only take a day or so. Thank you. Wait for Parker to finish building the ranch. So won't do anything else while that's going on. So we can just start to start to get some more stuff together, maybe. Uh, I could go down to the beach and try oh yeah, I need to hand in the pierogi. I'm still waiting on the honey. Waiting on that, and I need to get one seashell. So let's head to the beach and get a seashell then. I have no money left now. <laughs> I have so little money, it's not even funny. You're going to have a chat to Kai and. Oh! New girl! Want to join me for coffee? Sophia's slop chips are lecker. Lecker? That is a word I've not heard before. Sick of late nights? Damon, do you ever get tired of having to keep such late hours all the time? Yeah, you read my mind to tell you the truth. <sighs> I'll be honest, I'm getting sick of the night out life. I remember when I was a kid, getting ready for school in the mornings, while my pa snored on the couch. He used to sleep there so he wouldn't wake my mom up when he got in. I don't want my kids to have that kind of relationship with me, you know? Not that I'm ready for kids, but... You know, someday. I understand. Well, thanks for letting me ramble. Hey, we're casual friends now. Nice. 
Let's go have a chat with Sophia. Menage, this pan needs replacing. Sophia, you mentioned moving here. Did you move here from Italy? Oh, uh, no. Giacomo did. So did my Nona 60 years ago. But my mama raised me in the suburbs outside the city. I still absorb plenty of Italian slang. Like this pan is a scocciamento. A pain. A scocciamento. I like it. Yes, I know many things in my life. Tilly, you are a scocciamento. <laughs> oh, I'm so mean to her. I am so mean to her. Oh, so I can sell my slap chips. Hmm, I can also sell apple juice, berry smoothies, carrot juice. I should probably be juicing things because I think that would probably sell for more than just the carrots on their own. Generally in these games, processing things gets you a bit more money, so... Let's have a chat to Bruno. Mira says I gotta ease up on the bottle, else I'll need to ask Otto for a kidney. <laughs> As if that boy would even give me one. <laughs> I feel really horrible about how much... Like, Bruno's a nice guy. But at the same time, I do get where Otto's coming from, that, like, it's difficult to deal with someone with what I think may be an addiction. Do some fishing to make some money. There's all sorts of things we can do to make a bit of money today if we need to. Um, I've managed to plant everything, so we're good with that. Did I go to the beach and get shells yet? I don't think I did, did I? So that's my next job, I think. Let's actually go to the beach. It's a windy old day. Like, sometimes it's nicer... As long as the sand doesn't get too kicked up. It's nice to go to the beach on a kind of cold day and walk along. And it doesn't tend to be full of people then. Like, the beach is always full of people when it's hot. But there's there's not many people there when it's cold. But it's still really nice. It tends to be walkers. Okay, more bananas. I need to keep my bananas for banana bread. But no seashells today. Wow, okay. I guess I'll wait till tomorrow see if there's any tomorrow. I need seashells really badly as well. <laughs> I need them for the the calcium. Oh, uh, Kai's was closed today, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, Bruno's was open, but Kai's. The next time Kai's is open, though, I'll see if I can get myself a little seedling or two to put into the planter beds. Uh, some more thistles, wonderful. I've made tea out of all of them. I uh, might need to go and get some more moonflowers. As well. Okay, there's not a lot more I can do today. Because I've used up most of my stamina. Ah! Tara, I just sold the ranch. Here's your share of the sale. Oh, nice. I got half of my money back. The new rancher will arrive tomorrow. Go welcome him, won't you? Cordially, Mayor Otto Soft. Right then. Good night, Grandma. No, actually, we've still got, like, the whole night ahead of us. Let's see how the honey's doing. Not very well. Okay. I have now planted some more flowers though, so that's wonderful, right? Yeah. Kind of thinking though, can I turn that around? That's going to look a little bit nicer, isn't it, if I turn it around? I'm wondering if... Um, I should put the flowers next to the beehive. So what we could effectively have there is like four beehives. Like surrounded by a couple of flowers. And then have all of this. 
50 for um, planter beds. So I could have eight. I could have ten planter beds in here along with a, a whole stack of beehives. Or we do this. Put the beehives in front. This is a way to like sort of. It's probably not the prettiest way, actually. In fact, actually, probably. This would be the way. Three planters in there. Beehives along the back. I know, I'm a nightmare. Something like that, maybe? Eventually, though, I'll have more space. So yeah. so I can definitely get one, two, three. I could get four more planters in and quite a lot of beehives in, in that sort of configuration. Um, I don't know how much I like the composting beds, but it's fine. So I'll have one more thing that I can put in eventually. So we've got beehives, garden beds, compost bins, and something else. Oh yeah, I haven't found Angus yet. Angus might be uh, wandering around somewhere. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, we may as well go and socialise for the evening anyway. So I could pop down to the bar if it's open. I don't know if it is on a Thursday. Thursday tends to be a day where a lot of things are shut. So I could go and have a look. See if I bump into Angus at any point. Oh, there's Angus. So that's a good start. Hi, I've got your is that what I think it is? Yes. Yes. Here's your potatoes and mushrooms. Yay! These pierogies are gonna be so awesome. Here's your cut and some croissants. You must be starving. I'm always starving, yes. So I've been making lots of money back, which is wonderful. Hey, Let's have a chat. Natalia said you fixed up that broken mine entrance. You're a real whisk taker. I love his puns. Oh, Angus. Right, and we can have a chat to... I think we've already chatted to Bruno today, but we can have a little chat to Parker, who we've not talked to. Lena's always stressed out when the kids get out for summer break, but I like it when they hang around my shop. I get the impression that uh, you are always fun dad, and that Lena always has to be the one disciplining, and that's not fair. And Finn keeps his hands off the power tools when I tell him to. Most of the time. Hmm. That's not... It's not nice. Hey, hey! All the small business owners here get a discount at my place. But Sophia gets a double discount. Why? It's my way of paying her back for all the free food she makes me take. Ah. Wow, we're really getting along with uh, with Damon, aren't we? Let's have a chat to Kim. How are you doing today, Kim? I was supposed to go back home for my family's Lunar New Year dinner a few weeks ago. My mom's side makes the whole thing out of everyone coming home. But I just... Uh... I didn't want to deal with it this year. Hmm. I'm guessing family isn't as uh, as accepting of you as you would like, and that's sad. Yeah, I think that's everybody in the bar spoken to throughout the day. I don't think I can find any more shells at the moment, which is something I really desperately need. And I think so. It might be just time to head to bed for the day. Unless I want to go across the woods and get some moonflowers. But my thoughts on that are not today. <laughs> not today, Satan. So, we're going to head to bed. Because tomorrow, I guess to go and see who the new rancher is. I'm very excited about that. Should I go to bed? Yeah, we can meet the new rancher. <gasps> 
New character. I love that little wake up scene through the windows. Who is that outside, dear? Oh, it's her. It's Vanessa. Why is she always smiling like that? It's creepy. <laughs> I don't have the energy for her. Tell her I'm asleep. Good morning, Tara. I just wanted to bring some cupcakes for your grandmother. <sighs> She's asleep, but I'll take them. Wonderful. I made them myself. I'm not the best baker, but I tried. Very dark. Oh, I love a good, uh, dark cupcake. Mm hmm I set a timer, I promise. But then I got distracted. At least they're not raw. <laughs> so they're burnt cupcakes. By the way, I'm not just here because I'm the mayor's wife. When I was in high school, my best friend got sick. Also cancer. I supported her as much as I could, but it wears on you being a caretaker. Did your friend recover? Her name was Amy, and she didn't know. I am so sorry. It's all right. It was a long time ago. In any case, I'm here if you want to talk. And now I'll be going. I don't want to wear out my welcome. Huh. I think that's the first time anyone said what Grandma's sick with. Grandma, did you hear that? What? Uh, I was just resting my eyes. I do that a lot. <laughs> And you said it was only pretend. I'll leave you be. Okay. It's just a broom. It's just a broom. Grandma, I'm sorry I didn't visit more over the years. I always meant to come by or call or... Oh, you were stuck in the middle of a generational spat. Can't blame you for not wanting to get on the wrong side of Arthur's temper. He didn't have a right to keep us apart. We lost so many years that we could have spent together. Anger makes folks do things they regret, honeybee. He was sore at me for not telling him your grandpa was sick. You shouldn't have done that. But I was just following Robert's wishes. He shouldn't have asked you that. Robert didn't want Arthur to come and fuss over him. Can't imagine why not. I love being fussed over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to fuss away then. That's so cute. It's just a broom. It's not. It's not just a broom. I've been sweeping with it, but I'm fairly certain it's not just a broom. Let's have a look at this honey. Yeah, it's made some more progress today. More flowers, so I think it did a little bit more progress. I think those might be flowers, so maybe I should move those up there as well. My flower, my flower plots. So those are my flowers, and those are my veggies. And then I could turn that around then, couldn't I? Could make more beehives too but at the moment i don't have the wood for it so let's go and meet the rancher i am desperately i've been working really hard i'm desperately interested in uh, what the new rancher is like so stupid tree try not to let the trees grow here too much okay off we go uh, I need to still get a seashell as well, and an, as many as I can, really, because I'm going to need to grind them down. And I'd also like to see Kai, if Kai is working today at all, and, and check out the trees. Let's see if I can plant any fruit trees. Okay, so the ranch is looking a lot nicer today. Wow. Can I go and 
Hmm, okay. Wait for the new rancher to move in. Okay. Maybe they didn't move in today. I thought they had. Doesn't look like there's anybody new on the roster yet, so... Just uh, see the cat. One day, Isn't one day I will get you some fish. One day. Okay, maybe another two or three strokes and we'll be at one heart with the stray cat. Which would be very nice. Ooh, what are you? I found a pearl. I also found my final seashell, so we can hand that one in. Hence why that's got an exclamation mark now, I expect. Uh, I think it was Sophia. Yes. She likes her seashells. But from now on, I'll need to try and keep them to grind them up. And I'll try and finish Amira's quests if I can. Aha! Hello! I want to see if I can buy like an apple sapling or something off you. If possible. I'll have a <laughs> this chat. This location is great for foot traffic, but brah. The smells coming out of Sophia's diner totally give me the munchies. Yeah, I can see how that would work. Um, So we've got olives and apples today. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this thing. So at some point he might have a pomegranate one. And a lemon, but we've got the apple and the olive. He might have a lime or a mulberry. Ooh, I wonder if that's to do... Uh, yeah, I think I saw something to do with, like, um, silkworms. So we might be able to make silk later on, which would be really cool. Thank you, Kai. So we're going to get into a bit of... A bit of fruit making. Cameron, I never talk to you because you're always in your your stupid little place down the bottom. Mrs. Soft has been so supportive since I opened my chapter here. I think she can sense the good I can do for the community. Fairhaven couldn't have a fairer first lady. I'm reserving judgment so hard. While also judging a little bit. So there are your shells. Oh, you shouldn't have. No, I shouldn't have, because these are really difficult to get. Not difficult to get, but they you don't get many of them each day. I heard Hazel's been feeling worse. Are you doing okay? I I think so. It's hard, honestly. Because I'm the only one who lives with her. Like what if she falls? Hmm. Wow, that just popped out of me. I didn't even realize I was afraid of that. <laughs> Giacomo used to say I had that effect on people. They tell me all their worries. Well, I don't mind. Oh, Sophia, I think because when... I think you get a sense of someone who's been through the same things you have and knows... knows the deal, you know. Let's have a chat with Damon. I'm getting the sense that Emmy and Finn have quite the reputation. Is it deserved? Look, they never prank me, but that's because I treat them like humans and not little menaces. Yeah, they do seem to prank all the people I would expect them to prank, let's put it that way. Also, Lena's kind of my big sister, so I'm kind of their cool uncle. And you don't mess with the cool uncle. Because you know that the cool uncle would mess with you. Kim, how are you doing today? Mind you, is is that like I know that Chinese and Japanese sometimes have the name the 
wrong way around and that Kim is quite a um, common surname. So it could be that this person's name is actually Izumi and that Kim is the surname. It could be Izumi Kim. Even though, but it would still be polite for me to call them Kim because <laughs> it's politer to use the surname anyway. It's very confusing. We'll stick with Kim. <laughs> I tried giving Amira some lobster I caught as like a, a thank you for always fixing me up when my knife skills are not on point. But it turns out she's allergic to shellfish. Smooth, Kim. Real smooth. I will remember that and not also give Amira a lobster. Do you have a little thing for Amira then? Smooth, real smooth? I could see that. That'd be cute. Right, okay. I really want Natalia to find someone too. Like, it'd be so cute. So yeah, I thought that someone had moved into the ranch today. But I haven't really found them yet, so... I think I'm gonna go back to the farm and work on some planters for my fruit trees. That would be a good thing to do. Oh yeah, and that means as well that I can go to Parker's if he's open and see about how much it's gonna cost me to get that new veggie patch. I think that's the next thing I want to do. I mean, I kind of should get the shed, I know, but... I really want to do the veggie patch. I could make this whole area a place for gardening. Really? But There's like one tiny sapling? And rocks from the area I've roped off. That would be amazing. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. Okay. So I'm going to need 50 wood, 5 iron ingot, 50 soil. Right then, I'm going to make myself another soil maker, and we're going to work on that and 1,500 coins. All the rest shouldn't be too difficult, but 50 soil, it's going to take a while. So yeah, definitely time for a second composter, I think. And I can work on things like getting more honey going. I can plant my fruit trees. I can make more beds. Um, I don't want to make too many more beds though, because that's going to cost me soil, obviously. This is why people are like, pick up all the weeds you see, you're going to need loads of them, blah, 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 blah. That is why. Okay. Then I could do two more planters. Uh, once I have a little bit of wood. Okay. So I think what I'm actually going to do here is um, I'm going to collect that one. I know it's going to slow down the bees a little bit. I'm going to move things around a little bit. So that one's going to go there. That one's going to go there. We're going to put some more beehives in along the back there. And I'll put one more planter in there. And that'll be for my tr my fruit trees. So I'm going to need about 10 more wood. And that needs watering. Everything needs watering. Why did I run off without watering things today? We are getting there slowly. Everything's getting a bit better. Let's put the apple in there. 15 days and we will have a seedling, so, um, oh, it doesn't need watering. Maybe it'll need watering tomorrow, or maybe they just don't need watering at all. Sometimes in games like this, 
trees and things don't need watering, so I will see. Could probably sell violet the um the tulips that are done now. Okay, so we've got some soil there. Gonna make more soil. I don't even have enough weeds for the soil we need. We need about 100. But you know what? It's going to be a huge area compared to what we've got now. It's going to be a big glow up, isn't it? It's going to be amazing. So let's get rid of that. One hiding behind the rock there. I'm just going to completely clear cut this area and use the wood to make another planter for my olive tree because that's what I need at the moment. Because I don't see any point in making a big veggie garden when I haven't even like utilized all the space I have so it's definitely more worthwhile putting things in here but I really do think that eventually maybe I'll have this as a little flower garden completely a flower garden surrounded by beehives with like you know stuff in the middle or whatever and that'd be lovely and then all my veggies and my fruit trees could be in the other area So I've got myself an olive tree seedling. It doesn't say anything about the seedlings being any particular kind of... Um, any particular kind of season or anything like that. It seems like they just grow across seasons. So hopefully if I build up a little stock of different, uh, different trees and that would be pretty cool. I probably want to make a juicer in here, honestly. Uh, so it'll be 20 wood and 2 iron ingots. And definitely we'll be wanting to make olive oil in there as well. Uh, for fermentation barrels, so I could ferment the apple juice maybe and make cider. So there's definitely going to be a lot of things that I can make in the shed eventually. I'm going to chop down this tree. Might have to do the stump in the morning, though. Do we have time for one more day? I think we have time for one more day today. Yeah, I'm not in a particular massive rush today. Is it time for bed? So if we go to bed... We'll see if the rancher has moved in at that point. Oh yeah, there's a new rancher in town. Why didn't you say hello? I'm sure that they said that yesterday. Oh, let's not forget Grandma this morning. Grandma, how did you find out you were a witch? Oh, my Aunt Vivian was in the coven, of course. She used to have all these boarders come and go from a house she owned in town. Turns out, they were visiting witches. Come to see our wellspring for themselves. Although I think a few may have just been coming to see Aunt Viv, now that I think of it. I'm super interested to know whether witches in the coven are all female or whether there are male witches as well. Because I've got a feeling, a strong feeling that Shelby is a witch. Um... Okay, so Beehive still, still working on the honey. Still... Plodding along. We'll get a, we'll get there eventually, I guess. And how are we doing with the soil right now? Nine hours remaining on two pieces of soil. Okay, cool. Hello, I am the new rancher, Marty. Mayor Soft tells me I have to, sorry, I have you to thank for my new home. Do come by any time and say hello. I have something for you. Regards, Martin Emerson. 
Let's go and see Marty then. Let's go and meet the new rancher because I've met everybody else in town. So it's exciting for someone new to be here. I wonder whether now uh, the coop in the the coop in the barn can be sorted out. We shall have to see. <gasps> oh, it's adorable! Hey, Marty! Whoa! This ranch is incredible! I'm Marty Ma Emerson. Pleased to meet you. Marty Ma? Martin Ma? Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Memerson. No, oh, please. Just call me Marty. I want you to know that the ranch you help rebuild is in good hands. Oh, I, I didn't really... I've graduated with honors from the top national course in animal husbandry. Mm -hmm. Is that, uh, can we still call it that? <laughs> I mean, you're a farmer too, and you're a girl. Maybe it should be animal spousedry. Huh? No. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think that's what it means. Duh. This is already more complicated than I thought. Is it though? Yeah, maybe. Are we you making start by it complicated? For now, you can buy eggs from me. When you're ready to raise your own chickens, I can sell you some chicks too. You'll want to build a coop to keep them from scampering off. <laughs> Learned that one the hard way. Uh, that nice carpenter fellow, Parker, can help you out. Nice. So, um, talk to Parker about building a coop for the chickens. Thousand gold, hundred wood. That's not too hard. Wonderful. Hey, Marty. Can we have a proper little chat? No. Okay, that's fine. Now, it looks like Marty is a one heart kind of guy. So, who's this in here? Like, yeah. is that Finn? Yeah, what are you doing it's in here? Raining. Do you like rain? You like frogs? Yeah, it's nice. I don't have to water my crops. Yeah, and there's puddles. Last time it rained, I made a bigger splash than Emmy. But Mommy wasn't even proud. Because you probably covered yourself in mud. She said I just got my clothes ready. Yes. Maybe. She has to... It, maybe she should make you wash them and then you would know. Right, so we have met Marty the rancher. Wonderful. So now I need even more wood and even more money to get the chickens up and running. But that'll be super exciting, won't it? Let me go get some weeds, because, like, we really need weeds right now. So I figure that will be the coop. Maybe I should chop down the trees around the coop. Okay, grab all the weeds, all the weeds, all the weeds, more weeds, more weeds, more weeds. And... All the trees. So... From now on, I'm going to kind of try and leave the saplings alone and let them grow into proper trees. Uh, because that will give me more wood, I believe. But obviously, the veggie patch is going to take us a while to get onto. So I'm going to work on some of the other things like that don't require a ton of soil <laughs> so things like sorting out the uh the chicken coop would be a, a really good one 
and leave that sapling. I've got a couple of trees here that I can grab though, and a couple of big rocks as well. Although I don't really need stone at the moment, so I think the rocks can wait until I've finished with the trees. And I think that one I will have the wood, but not the stumps on as well. Could do some fishing too, couldn't I? You know, that fishing stuff that I never do. Okay, I'm feeling like going to the beach and the woodlands and doing a little bit of a gathering run and then maybe like popping down to the tavern. I've got weeds and thistles and mushrooms here. Don't let them go to waste, Sheila. Don't let them go to waste. I'm guessing there's lots of weeds because it's like a kind of rainy day today, so uh, it doesn't surprise me they're getting watered nicely. But I think I have, I have enough weeds, I've just got to process them. And that processing takes a long time, so it could take me... That could take me another 25 days to get to that point. So we definitely need to be like working towards it while we work on our other things in the background. Or we make more composters. I could fit in four if I needed to. That is a lot. Uh, let's head down to the beach because I need seashells to crush down into... Into the also, we need to go and see um, Francis because I've got a pearl and an amethyst that could be sold on. I can't make jewellery yet, so I figure that's probably the best thing to do with them at the moment. I don't even have enough stamina to fish right now, it's terrible. Alright then. I'm gonna head up to the woodlands, I think. Oh, let's have a chat to Kai as well. And maybe even Vanessa. Ho, oh, Angus's donuts are ono. They're not quite like the ones at home, but close enough. I like good donuts. Francis, um I take it you're not yeah, buying and selling right now. My abuela accidentally taped over the video of my fifth grade talent show with one of her novelas once. Oh no, I'm sorry. That must have been upsetting. Not at all. Not to shade my 10 year old self, but that performance did not need to be saved for posterity. <laughs> Is his name Francis Cauldron? <laughs> Calderon, but still, it's Cauldron. How you doing, Natalia? Saw Vanessa on her way to your farm with a plate of cupcakes. She really is such a thoughtful first lady to take that kind of time. And she works with the twins every day. The League of the Conscious Mind doesn't have saints, but if we did, she would certainly qualify. <laughs> I wonder... See, I wonder whether the League of the Conscious Mind is anti-witch. Because it's like let go of all the old beliefs and things. Do you think it might be? Would be interesting, wouldn't it? I'll have a chat to Violet. I don't have the money just now. Uh, sorry, the honey even just now, but so, we can have a chat. Lena says you knew each other when you were kids? Yeah. Well, she was a bit older. She would babysit me from time to time. I have a hard time picturing Lena as a kid. She's always so self-possessed and in charge. Oh, you mean running the general store? Running the twins. <laughs> yep. And, uh, you know, taking care of her kids. You take care of your brother. You do it really well. Okay, I'm going to head into the forest and hopefully it'll turn night just as I'm doing that and I can grab the moon flowers and then get back. Because at the moment... <sighs> I'm all... I could eat... No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to pick things up. Picking things up is something you can do without stamina. So that's what I do when I don't have any stamina left. 
Aha, they are out. Fantastic. That's more tea for me. So I'm going to be going back into the mine soon um, because I'll need the copper for the, the distillery. Well, I did sell all my copper to get the money to get the ranch up and running. But I'm going to be trying to work my way through the mines anyway, so um, the copper should be fairly easy to come across. I'm so glad I got half the money back on that, though. Oh. That was a lot. See, I've been picking up all of these peanuts the whole time, right? Oh, I see. I, get, I got the chocolate cupcakes. For me to eat or sell or whatever. Wonderful. Yeah, I've got all these peanuts. I don't want, no one will buy peanuts from me. I wonder if I could like, make some peanut butter or something like that out of them. Peanut butter cupcakes. I have the basic bakery stuff, don't I? But uh, nothing else. As far as cooking is concerned. Yeah, we're all still here. I wonder if they miss my grandma. Can you really see the future? Yep. For example, you're about to ask another full question. I... Uh... Never mind. <laughs> Does the newest member of the coven always have to gather supplies for turning the seasons? Usually, yeah. The newbie's kind of like the intern. Except you're getting us I of Newton instead of coffee. Much more exciting. Just have a Are chat. you sure I can handle finding the things you need for something as important as changing the seasons? Why would you doubt yourself? I guess my life was kind of falling apart when I came to Fairhaven, so... But look at everything you've done since you got here. Yeah, loads of stuff. I just want to see what they're going to say, Watch honestly. Watch out for the journeymen. You're new and don't know better than to stay out of his schemes. The journeyman is One a schemer. I tested my proportions when I was making a big bat of miracle grow. I tested it on a mushroom and it exploded to like 10 times its original size. Why do I think the acolyte sounds a little bit like Kai? <gasps> what did you do? I stuffed the mushroom in my bag and took it home, duh. Fresh produce is expensive. I just don't know. Like, I'm trying so hard to work out who they are, and like, every time I speak to them, I think it's someone different. <laughs> right then. Let's pet the cat and get out of here. Hey, and Becky. then I definitely have to wrap up the episode, but I'm glad I got to find the- I got to see the rancher guy. Got to, got to meet Marty today, which was wonderful. I'm super happy with that. And we're getting quite... We're doing quite well with um, just talking to people at the moment. I will probably, uh, like, with a, every game in spring, you don't give out gifts in spring. You talk to people in spring because in spring you have nothing. You're not a rich farmer in spring. You're always a poor farmer in spring of year one anyway. And I think this game might only have one year, so... This is why I'm trying to get on as far as I can before I change the seasons too much. And it seems like um, the more I change the seasons, the sicker grandma's going to get too, so I... Oof. Hard times. It looks like the soil is ready. So we'll change that over. Two down, 48 to go. And then with the chicken coop, I'm going to need um, 100 wood, 1,000. It's 100 wood and 1,000 coins, isn't it? So we're on 375 coins at the moment, and we're on 59 pieces of wood. So we'll work on the rest of the 100 wood tomorrow, and then, like I say, I might do a bit of fishing and things like that, things that can sort of give me a bit more money. Um, and... Yeah, see if we can get the chicken coop going. Maybe 
sometime next episode. That would be amazing, wouldn't it, if we could get that done. So uh, there we are. That's mm. the end of the episode. Is it time for bed? Is it time for bed? Yes, mm. it is, Tara. So we're going to go to bed. When we wake up in the morning, I'll end the episode there. It is Sunday. Right, so that's going to be it for today. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.